So as you've, as you've seen, built into Dynamics 365 is the ability to get automatic intelligence capabilities that enable you to optimize your business outcomes using the data you already store in both Dynamics 365 and inside Office 365. But the reality is the data that you store in your business doesn't just live in your CRM, your ERP, or your email systems. You know, it lives on the web. It lives in social networks, from IoT devices, legacy systems everywhere within your organization, and many other places. And the power of the Microsoft Cloud is that we also provide the cloud and data analytics platform necessary to ingest all of this data, combine it with the data that you do store inside your Dynamics 365 system, and get even richer intelligence from it. And today I'm really excited to announce uh, a new uh, product offering as part of the Dynamics 365 family that we call Customer Insights for Dynamics 365. And it makes it even easier to build customer intelligence solutions that seamlessly integrate it with your Dynamics 365 data and applications. It's built on top of the core Azure and Cortana intelligence data services that we provide. But what's nice about Customer Insights is it, makes it, it delivers a SaaS-based solution that makes it incredibly easy to build a 360-degree view of your customers without having to hire a lot of data scientists. It enables you to ingest data from literally any data source to populate that 360-degree customer view. And it enables you to take advantage of built-in machine learning algorithms that we've already built to help accelerate you getting deep insights from all that data. And it helps enable you to build transformational customer insight systems, ones that allow you to take your business to the next level. One of the nice things about the customer insights is it's the result of doing truly customer-driven development uh, between the Dynamics team working with a lot of our customers. One of these customers is Marston's. Marston's is a brewing company operating more than 1,700 pubs in the UK and was one of the early customers that started using this new application. You know, in order to create a more personalized pub experience for their customers and to achieve a much more targeted marketing, uh, they needed to bring together customer data from a whole bunch of places, not just their dynamic systems, but also social media like Facebook, Twitter, and TripAdvisor. And they also wanted to look at you know, a variety of other sensor data, for example, like the Wi-Fi registration data of customers using Wi-Fi inside their pubs, their point of sale transaction systems, their table bookings, and their survey results. And the combination of all this really enables them to understand their customers. And this required a level of data integration analysis that goes, again, far beyond what we traditionally thought of as just CRM. And they've had some amazing success with it. What I'd like to do is invite Mike from Marston's here on stage to share some details about uh, their experience with it and what they've done with it. So please welcome Mike. Hi. Good Thanks afternoon. so much for being here, Mike. Good afternoon. So I'd love to hear more about your business and your solution and um, well, some of what you've implemented. Well, I think that says it all, I think, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Actually, no, more, more simply, actually, it is a simple business model. Um, we have great products and we sell it through some fantastic pubs. And uh, that's the job done, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but no, it's not, actually, it's not. Um, customers want more now. So they've had the great products, they got used to that. They, they want a lot more. Um, they want something called an experience. And um, <coughs> so I'm British. Um, <coughs> anyway, they want something called an experience. The problem that we had was trying to understand what that experience was because John's experience is different to Paul's experience is different to George's. And I'm not gonna go to the final one. Um, <clears throat> right, okay. So, it's all about data. We decided to, to collect data. And I think. It sounds like you collect a lot of data. Where, where all the data come from? Well, it comes from everywhere, actually. So, internal systems, um, external systems, third party systems. Um, some of it's not even our data, it's somebody else's. And some of it's not actually that great. So. <laughs> and so, do you guys have 
thousands of data scientists hanging out that you were able to sift through this data and get insights from? No, we've got a couple of people who do a bit of reporting. Um, and, and they do that very well. But no, we don't have data scientists. Uh, we can't, or we just don't have them. It's that simple. And so maybe you can talk about, you know, how long did it take to take customer insights and actually get a solution up and running? Well, the first thing we had to do was um, take all those different bits of data and turn it into something that we could understand and deal with. And then that has to translate into um, the experience, okay? um, and which is delivered through different ways. Um, but the key thing about what we did with this was that it didn't take long. I actually did a calculation this morning about it, and actually, so the elapsed time was longer. But in reality, this was weeks. It wasn't months and it wasn't years. It was done in weeks, which is absolutely fantastic. That's awesome. And, and this is sort of the, gives you a sense, I think, on the slide here of just yeah. all the different data that, that you in, imported, some of the KPIs you're getting out of there, and then, you know, in particular, the actions you drove. That's right. So now we've got to this experience bit, which is delivered through the personalized service. This is waiting staff. Um, that's, that's serving people at the table. And the business insights comes from the pub manager. So he's now got real um, insight into how the pub's operating, what works for his customers and what doesn't. And um, for the marketing and communications teams, it's much, much better now because they're focusing on a, an individual and their preferences and not just sending out discount vouchers or which actually in the end just does nothing but erode margin, it doesn't really generate loyalty. Well, maybe we can walk yeah, over here and you can show me a demo yeah. of what you got here, of this system in action that you built only in weeks. <laughs> With your help. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, um, so this is really good. So the, there is um, the, obvious, the obvious sort of thing. So we can see, um, this is the house manager view, so we know how many bookings I have this month, so, well, obviously, you know how many rooms have been booked and so on. Um, and, and actually, you know, again, we're British, so we worry about the, the weather. Um, <laughs> but there's a serious point behind that, actually, because the, the weather does have a serious impact on our business. Um, so if it's not good, we don't sell as much. And if it is good, we sell a lot. Um, so you can actually see, you know, the pub manager can see all of this kind of information about how much he's making on room rents. Um, but the, the, the important point here, which was really, really good, is the, um, it's the combination of the data. So we're actually, for the first time, able to get key metrics, but at the same time, some sentiment analysis in there as well. So that, that is absolutely brilliant. I heard you had some kind of correlation between Wi-Fi signal strength in the pub and customer satisfaction. Is that right? Can you tell us more about that? Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, yeah. Um, <laughs> Wi-Fi is on the bottom now. That's before the drink, okay? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the next bit is the, the, the pub manager or the marketing people can have a look at, you know, what, 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 what the, the customer looks like. Um, so we can see that they've got a beer preference, in this case, double drop. Not my personal preference, but um, that's fine. Um, we see how they've started the engagement process with us, which is really good, and we've got some indication of the lifetime value of that user. Um, but, yeah, this is the really good bit, if I can go on to that. Go for it. Yeah. Right. So, and this is the bit I've been waiting, I've been dreaming about being able to do this for years, and it's absolutely brilliant that I can do that. So this is for waiting staff. So this is Surface stuff on a handheld device, um, and it tells them everything, but it tells them visually, as opposed to lots of numbers and information, which is a different thing. And what it means is they know that this person loves double drop. They know that this person mm, wasn't overly happy last time, maybe. We're trying to encourage them to register with the, we know when his birthday is, and we knew the time of his last visit. So this means that the serving staff have an instant way of engaging with a customer that possibly they didn't know before. That's fantastic. And so next time I go to London, 
and go into one of your pubs, you'll know exactly what beer I want. Yeah, uh, but only if you register with us. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> I'll make sure yeah. to do that. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, uh, <laughs> Mike, for walking through this solution. Thank and, you. Um, Good really to see appreciate you being here Thank today. You very much. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the great example there is, is you know, how you can take data, again, from all these different signals, from Wi-Fi to temperature to weather, et cetera, and be able to process it, integrate it with your CRM and ERP data, and really get new signals of intelligence, and then turn that intelligence into action that you can use to drive your business outcomes. And it's sort of one of the unique things we're really excited about enabling with Dynamics 365. Again, not just with built-in algorithms that we provide for all the, the business apps we deliver, but with a whole platform with customer insights that can pull in data literally from any source and be able to, to intermix it uh, with your existing Dynamics 365 data to get real true intelligence.